Zotero allows us to create in-text citations and our reference or bibliography page with the click of a button. This is great, so let me show you how to do it. You should have already downloaded Zotero and set it up. There are two videos on that. If you have not seen them yet, please go back and watch those first. You will need two other tools to make this happen. You must have Word. All SEU students get it for free. Do not use Pages or Google Docs. They do not work with Zotero or MyFire or Turnitin. Go to library.seu.edu slash citations slash APA. Click on the link for Office 365. Enter your Southeastern username and password to download Word. You also want to download the Word template undergraduate version. This template is already set up for research papers. Zotero must be running in the background, just like when we were capturing sources in the earlier videos. In Word, I am on page 2 of the document. For our example, I've already typed my paper. Now it's time to enter the in-text citations. In the first paragraph, I have a quote that needs an in-text citation or I'll be plagiarizing. If Word has been set up correctly, a Zotero or Add-in tab will be at the top of Word. Some of you will have both tabs. They will both work. Click on the Add Edit icon to create the in-text citation. When you do this the first time, it prompts you to pick the citation format to use. APA, MLA, Turabian. For the sake of this example, I'm choosing APA. Then click OK. A box for Zotero appears. Choose the correct source and put in the page number. I know that this is the source, and I look through my notes to find the page number. I type 97 in the Pages box. Make sure that the title of the work is highlighted, then click OK. Notice that Zotero has put in the in-text citation with the author, year, and page number. This is correct for APA. That's all I have to do for that in-text citation. Another type of in-text citation is when you have multiple sources that all agree. You can put them all in the same in-text citation. Click on Add Edit Citation like before, but this time click on the box for multiple sources. Zotero adds a box for you to add sources to. Click a source and then click the green arrow to add it to the list. Do this for the other sources you want to add. Click OK and Zotero creates the in-text citation with author and year. There's no page number because we're making generalizations about these three studies as a whole. One more in-text citation. For this example, let's use a web page. Instead of a page number, we use a paragraph number. Click on the page and change it to paragraph. The note tells us that this is in paragraph 27. Click OK and once again Zotero has come through with the author, year, and the paragraph number. Now it's time to create the references, bibliography, or works cited page at the end of the paper. Put your cursor where you want the list to begin. In the Zotero tab, click the second icon, Add Edit Bibliography. In one click, the list is created. The authors are in alphabetical order by last name. I know you're excited, but it's very important to remember this. It is up to you to make sure that the capitalization and everything else about the citation is correct. To fix it in Zotero, pull up the Zotero screen. Click on the item you need to fix. Click in the field that you need to fix, in this case the title. Once I have corrected the capitalization in the title, I click outside the box so that it closes up. Now go back to Word, go back to the Zotero tab, and click on Refresh. Now the citation is fixed, both in Zotero and in Word. If you have further questions about citation styles, Word, or Zotero, please contact us at the Steelman Library.